So looking around us here, this is an excellent example of just how weathering happens, uh, whether through biological or other physical means. So we don't have a lot of, well, there might there may be a little bit of chemical weathering going on here with rainwater and stuff, but this is some fairly stable sandstone. Um, so we've got little sandstone surfaces in here, still visible, but we were just marveling at how thick and dense the moss is along the side of this cliff. Okay, you can see as I push into it just how plush it is, um, which means that, that we've got generations and generations of moss that's been growing, finding every little tiny nook and cranny in that rock and forcing those cracks just a little bit wider. Eventually, yellow birch seeds are able to fall onto the moss, uh, take purchase in the moss itself, and then work its way into any cracks that happen to be wide enough in the rock. Like this tree is on there. I could probably climb that sucker and it's only about the diameter of my leg. Um, the, uh, then eventually, as those cracks widen open, we get rocks that are falling off here, big cracks in between the rocks here, um, and then entire canyons that I could literally walk into here um, that form between the rocks as frost wedging speeds things along and other processes encourage as my pack gets stuck on the rock as other processes encourage that kind of breaking open and weathering of the rock all in place in situ as we say and eventually uh, gravity will take hold and knock big chunks of those rocks off and then other processes of erosion can get involved as well but in the meantime, this is a great nursery of mechanical and biological weathering.